Good evening and welcome to Prime of Midlife from the sunny west coast of Scotland. It is Monday evening and obviously sunset, sun's over there so it's in my eyes but I thought I'd let you see the lovely scenery behind me. Um, I have just, just settled into the caravan and we turned on the TV to see the news. And there's this huge thing about a million appointments have been cancelled in the NHS because of doctor strikes and nurses strikes since December. Now, the nurses pay deal has been agreed and what's happened is the independent pay review has decided that they will give the doctors whatever it is, 8% or something, which sounds a lot until you realise what they were on. A junior doctor was on 29,000. Now, I know labourers in the construction industry that make more than that. I know people in shops that make more than that. I know a lot of people that make more than that, and they do not have other people's lives in their hands. And as Patrick said to me, after the pandemic, when the medical staff worked themselves into the ground to try and help everyone, and now we're being picky, about giving them a decent wage rise to actually make them feel as if they're actually valued, that they're a bit special, you know, for all this training and saving lives and stuff. And I'm, I'm just, you know, I cannot believe that after the demands that were put on the health service during the pandemic, that we are now nitpicking about doctors, people who save lives. But that's what we're doing. And then Patrick made a very good point and he said, uh, what if they just keep it going till the election? Then it's not their problem anymore. Or they can say, even if the Conservatives get back in, they can say, oh, well, you know, we had to wait and see. They're just treading water. And it's us that are suffering. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely support the doctor strikes. I do, because they've saved my daughter's life. They saved my dad's life. I have complete faith in the NHS, but to ask a doctor after years of medical school to get paid less than a construction site labourer or less than someone who works in Lidl's or the co-op or less than a waiter at our local hotel, I think there's something far wrong with that. I really, really do. So obviously what does Karen do when she's peeved at something she comes and tells you all <laughs> so yeah that's my first video from here no doubt I will be watching the news more because I don't normally watch it at home most of my information is from online because I don't sit down and watch the news but because I'm not just coming in from work now I actually have time to sit and check on the news during the day so this could be an interesting week <laughs> catch you later